Hello from RPG Mods Fan. I have broken up my walkthrough, review, and discussion of the D&D S4 The Lost Caverns of Solskath module into three parts. In this first part, I will discuss the player's appropriate portion of the module. Starting next week, I will release the second and third parts, which are appropriate for Dungeon Masters only. So, without further ado, here is the first part of my walkthrough of the S4 module. So, Kurt, do you think we will ever find the lost caverns of Tsokan in these mountains? Our patron back in Baluna will not be too happy to hear that her henchmen were all killed in a rock slide. Hello and greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is RPG Mods Fan, and in this walkthrough video, I will be reviewing and discussing the classic Dungeons & Dragons module S4 The Lost Caverns of Solskath, which was written by the legendary Gary Gygax and published by TSR in 1982. This module is a sandbox adventure and was meant for player characters between the levels of 6 to 10. This module was written for AD&D First Edition rules. The Dungeon Master will need to do some work to convert it to 5th edition rules. With the help of Rob Kuntz, The Lost Caverns of Solskath was actually the second standalone module for D&D written by Gary Gygax. He wrote it for Detroit's 1976's WinterCon 5 gaming convention. This original version, again with the help of Rob Kuntz, underwent a few changes before being released in 1982 as the S4 module. One of the most significant changes is the gender swap of the century-old lore of the module. The Archmage Igvilv, who conquered and once ruled Perenland, was originally a male human. In the S4 module, Igvilv became a she. She then became an iconic D&D villain who has appeared in every edition of D&D and is known by many aliases, including being known as the Archmage Tasha. In the original version of the module, the male Igvilv was rumored to have been slain by the demon prince Grezd. This event has been retconned and instead, Igvilv and Grants became lovers. Over the decades, this module has been reprinted a few times. In 1987, TSR included it as part of the Realms of Horror compilation of the S-Series modules. Due to the missing artwork, personally I would not recommend getting this version of the compilation. In 2013, Wizards of the Coast reprinted the original 1E versions of the S-Series in their Dungeons of Dread compilation. Unfortunately, this version converts a few of the iconic colored drawings of the S-3 Expedition to the Barrier Peaks module into black and white. If I am not mistaken, there is also a 4th edition reprint of this module. The S4 module includes two booklets. One is actually the module text, while the other contains new spells, monsters, magic items, and artifacts. This video will focus on the adventure part of the module. Practically all the material in booklet number 2 were later included in the AD&D Monster Manual 2 and the Unearthed Arcana books. Gary Gygax's WG4, The Forgotten Temple of Tharizdon module can be run as a sequel to the S4 module. It takes place in the same locale as the S4 module. Originally, the S4 module was to be placed in the World of Greyhawk series 
and given the WG3 header label, WG1 and WG2 would have been the village of Hamlet and the temple of elemental evil. However, due to time constraints in the early 1980s, the Lost Caverns was added to the S series. Hamlet and the Temple of Elemental Evil became their own things. The module's cover describes the adventure contained within as follows. In the Yetzel Mountains south of Perrinland, there is rumored to be a magical hoard of unsurpassed value, a treasure of such fame that scores of adventurers have perished in search of it. Find the perilous lost caverns of Sojkanth, and you may gain the hidden wealth of the long-dead Archmage, if you live. The Mountain Trek adventure takes place on the fantasy world of Greyhawk, in a section of the Yetil Mountains that lies south of Perrinland. Perrinland was once ruled by the Witch Queen Igvilv. During her reign, she gathered enormous wealth, including the fabled Dayud's Wondrous Lanthorn. The current rulers of Perrinland, Ket, Bysel, Veluna, and Ayuz, all want the Witch Queen's treasure, particularly Dayud's Wondrous Lanthorn. Her treasure is said to be hidden in the Lost Caverns of Sojkanth. The Lost Caverns are said to be hidden somewhere in the mountains south of Perrinland. The adventurers were hired by the Margrave of Bissel to find the Lost Caverns of Sojkanth and to secure Igvil's treasure and Dayut's wondrous lanthorn for him. The adventurers get the sense that the Margrave is looking for those who are brave and foolhardy to go on this expedition. If the expedition is successful, the Margrave expects the adventurers to hand over Dayut's wondrous lanthorn to him, as well as 15% of all money taken out of the lost caverns. As their reward, the player characters can keep any magic items they find. If you have player characters like mine, I would initially have the Margrave demand 25% of the wealth before being haggled down to the 15% number. Displayed on the screen is a wilderness map the player characters are given at the start of the adventure. Along with the player character's handout map, they are given a scrap parchment with the following verse. The horn of Igwelf pierces the heart. Look over your shoulder before you start. How many sorrow, foolish men, because they didn't turn back then.